Welcome back, first graders. This is our social studies unit, first grade map unit, lesson five. Our essential question is, what is a map? All right, first graders, let's grab our map skills for today, packet, book one, because we're gonna do a little work together. I'm gonna start off with a read aloud first. Our story today is Our Earth by Anne Rockwell. Our Earth, written and illustrated by Anne Rockwell. Published by Voyager Books Harcourt, Inc. Our Earth is where I live. It's a big round globe. It has a frozen North Pole at the top and an icy, cold South Pole at the bottom. Our Earth was shaped by water, fire, ice, and living things. It is always changing, much too slowly for us to see. Once our Earth was covered with warm water, some dinosaurs lived in its warm and ferny swamps. Then our earth turned cold. Huge sheets of slowly moving ice called glaciers crept across the earth and wore rocks smooth. Glaciers are still moving in places on our earth. The biggest pieces of land on earth are continents. Their shorelines meet the sea. There's North America, and there's Pacific Ocean and Atlantic Ocean on both sides. Islands are smaller pieces of land that rise up out of the sea. Some islands are born when volcanoes erupt below the sea. Hot lava cools and over time, it turns to soil where green things can grow. Some islands are coral reefs that grow and grow until they poke above the water and birds bring seeds to them. Water gushing up from the ground in rain and melted snow fill streams, ponds, and lakes. Streams flow into small rivers, which flow into bigger ones. At the top, it says little streams, then coming down, there's a small river, a big river on the left, and a bigger river on the right. There's an arrow pointing to the sea. Nothing can stop water from finding its way. Some rivers dry up and stop flowing, but some empty into the salty sea. The land on our earth has rounded hills that enclose green valleys. There are many forests on our earth. Rainforests are full of flowers and birds and monkeys jumping through green leaf trees. There are hot, sandy deserts where lizards live and prickly cacti grow. There are dark, damp caves that go far down into the earth. There are tall canyons carved by years and years of rushing water. There are high snow-capped mountains reaching up to the clouds in the sky. Our big round earth is very beautiful. It is my home and yours. The end. All right, open up that map packet and we're gonna go, I think this is the third or fourth page in. The title is, What Does Earth Look Like? This is gonna be your homework, but you could probably get it done here with me right now if you open up your packet. So you're gonna start it with me. 
Let me read you the letter from Buddy up here. It begins, Dear Boys and Girls, Someday I'd like to be a space bear. I will go up, up into space. Then I will look down at Earth. Earth is the planet we live on. Look at the picture of Earth. It was taken from space. You can see that the Earth is round like a ball. You can also see that it has land areas and lots and lots of water. Your friend, Buddy. All right, we're gonna look at the directions down here on the bottom. It says, use your skills. Finish each sentence with a word from the box. Well, let's read the words. I'd like you to repeat them after me. Ready? Water, water. Earth, earth. Round, round. You're gonna pick the words from the box that finish the sentence correctly and write them on the line. I'll read each of the sentences twice for you. If there's one you're not sure about, well, wait for the next one, and when you're all done, you should be left with the correct answer for the one you didn't know. Number one, the planet we live on is called blank. The planet we live on is called blank. Water, earth, round. Put your answer in there and right now. Number two, the shape of the earth is blank. The shape of the earth is blank. Water, earth, round. And number three, earth has less land than blank. Water, earth, round. Earth has less land than blank. So I'll read them one more time for you. The words that you can choose from for answers is water, earth, round. Number one, the planet we live on is called blank. Number two, the shape of earth is blank. Number three, earth has less land than blank. All right. Finish that up and you're done with social studies for the day. Can't wait to see you next time.